Uh, what's the other protest that's been going on peacefully? Peacefully, so that's the protest outside St Paul's um, against the, uh, the the terrible world economy. They may have to close. I it think down. they've already had to close the shop and the and the cafe. Oh, okay. Oh. What's happening to religion? I know. <laughs> they were protesting against no. the stock exchange, but they yeah. couldn't camp outside there. And then St Paul said, "All right, you can camp here." Although it was quite amusing to see the longest queue ever for Starbucks in the history of the world uh, <laughs> in that square at a protest against capitalism. Well, the papers have asked how long the protesters the were planning... Papists. The papists? The, the papers. Oh, papers. The papers. The papers. Oh, this is papers. Well, they're outside St Paul's. <laughs> <laughs> the papers have asked how long the protesters are planning to keep up their howls of anger against corporate greed and inequality. How did they reply? Forever. Until, Until the wars of mammon fall down upon us. <laughs> One protester told The Sun, we're hoping we'll be here until Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone know what the London protesters are trying to achieve? Well, the, the overthrow of the uh, corrupt city system as they see it, one suspects, no? They tweet about it regularly on their iPhones, perhaps in between getting cafe lattes, and, right. uh, <laughs> and housing themselves in some very fancy tents. But, well, uh, they, you... are, they are against capitalism, except for the lattes. So if they buy coffee, their, their opinions are worthless. <laughs> I think if they, uh, if they prop up a corporate titan like Starbucks, they've got to ask themselves how, how much of the, capitalism they really, really don't like. I don't being... think you can negate them because they have a cup of coffee. It's like Santa or condemned man on the way to the gallows when he's blubbing. You ate your last meal. What's the matter with you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said it was your last meal. Either you can't be against capitalism and then take everything that it provides and say, this is terrific. Everything? Thank a you, but I coffee? hate the system it's, that it's, you're it's, providing. One, one cup of coffee and they can't... They can't, 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 can't they be about... Sorry, we... we uh, I'm gonna, no, 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 no. It's just so obvious I can't be bothered. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to say? <laughs> You don't have to want to return to a barter system in the Stone Age <laughs> to complain about the way the financial crisis affected large numbers of people in the world, do you? They've Even got... if you're having a cup of coffee and you've got a tent. No, I think you do. <laughs> And say capitalism is crisis and then enjoy everything it brings and revel in it and relish it. You keep it saying everything. They had yeah. a cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, not everything. Well, right. according to The Guardian, the protesters have a number of targets, uh, but their ambition is to stamp out greed and world poverty. They're, they're hoping to set up a visitor centre and an outreach group to spread the message. Right. <laughs> well, that oh, sounds really effective. Much better to get some lobbyists in. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> What did Matthew Watkinson, an extra from Downton Abbey? If he's drunk coffee, I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> he's not interested. He's worthless. <laughs> His opinion is of no value at all. What a rich if I TV can smell star. espresso on your breath, get out of here. <laughs>